Hi guys, this is a new type of video that I'm testing out and one that if we do continue to do it won't be the sort of one we release on a Saturday. It'll be the sort of video we release on a Wednesday. Please let me know what you think about it. And what I'd like to do is get more manufacturers in from all over the sphere of plumbing that we work with and talk to them about their products and just give you guys an opportunity to get to know the companies better as people, but also a little bit about their products as well. And my guinea pigs for this week are beaut lines. So let's get on. Hi guys, welcome to this plumberparts.co.uk video. My name's James, I'm back again. Look how old I am. <laughs> We're getting a quick visit today in the studio from a main man, Luke, from Butte Wine. He's just turned up in his absolutely fandabby dozy car full of bits and bobs, products and stuff like that. We're gonna have a look at some of the new products from Butte Line. We're gonna talk about the direction of the company, where they're going, that sort of thing. Please like, subscribe and comment. Butte Line will be looking at the comments as well and they're gonna wanna to reply to them and so will I as well. Let's get on with the video guys. Remember to subscribe and remember there's one thing you're gonna do, I think you know what it is. That's old tack. Let's get on with it. Luke, Luke, you got your phone down here, mate. You got it on silent. Hmm. Oh. All right, good. Let's get started then, mate. So how are things at Butte Line first? Number one, what's going on? Going really well, expanding in sales numbers. So we've got more people on, on the road uh, than we had before. Gonna continue, so we're looking at getting some more people in. So we've got Mark Bell who's just joined us in the north. We had a lot, a huge amount of um, interest, especially from social media. A lot of the interest we got via the, the butte straps that uh, we did oh as well. Oh yeah, I've got some, you brought some out, haven't you? We've got some butte straps. We've got plenty of stuff to look through, guys. We held out for quite a while. We spoke to a lot of people, but we wanted to get the, the, right, the right person. Guy. And we feel that Mark is, um, you know, he, he knows a lot of people in, in, the, in the area. And, he knows, um, he knows my mate, doesn't he? He knows your mate. Drew yeah. Styles. Yeah. Hey Drew. Yeah. In fact, I think we'll FaceTime Drew if we can later on and ask him. So we've done really well, uh, things are continuing to grow. We are looking at um, getting a bigger unit than what we've got yeah. um, and actually bringing machinery over and start manufacturing in the UK. Because obviously the last time I visited you guys, what was it? I don't know, it's probably about six or seven months ago. But everything was still getting produced in New Zealand, wasn't it? Or most of it was. And now you're bringing it over to the UK, the actual yeah. manufacturing. It's bugging yeah. me, mate. That's yeah. magic. But yeah, no. So obviously, you know, that will create more local jobs as well, which which we're into. And although the product is manufactured there, you know, our engineers that are behind the Vuelan product, the guys that do all the, you know, R and D um, and the actual, who are based know, over and the actual founder, New Zealand. they're all they're all British guys. Oh really? It's a British engineering, yeah. Oh, Maybe so, New Zealand muscle. New Zealand Maori muscle. Well, 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 yeah. yeah. So, other than that, how's the team? Jody and Gary all okay? Everyone's good. Yeah, as I say, you know, happy, happy people. Um, the future's bright. Guys, for this section, I want to concentrate on plumbers like myself who do sort of one or two houses at the most at one time. But it's worth you guys knowing that Butte Line is being installed in very large projects around the country. So it's a kind of testament to the trust that the specifiers, architects, and building controllers have for this product. How, how are you finding the um, DIYers, maybe not so much the DIY, but the standard sort of installer who's doing like a house fit out? What yeah, you great. There? I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, you know, we, we can't do it without those guys either, and they're just as important to us. And yeah. um, the thing is, the particular, you know, the, the product, as we know, isn't suited to every single job. Yeah. But when the guys have got projects where they're going to put in a new install, or like the work, you know, that you've done at home, that sort of stuff, um, or even underfloor heating, mm -hmm. you know, they call us up. They go, "Yep, yeah, you know, we've seen it. We, we've seen it on social media. We've seen, seen it the on stuff you've pass. done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we want to give it a try." Um, and like most people, to be fair, once they've used it once, yeah, they're, they're they realise that actually this does do what you know what they say it will do. See, I've always seen it as bringing like plastic, like being professional again. I mean, I know we've got there's yeah. other plastic manufacturers out there, not naming any names, mm -hmm. and they are literally push push in, and that's how it is. But with this, I always find that the good thing is for a start, the customer can't whip it apart. No. You know, it doesn't leak. What was that? It was a whole underfloor heating system. There must have been 100 mm. odd square meters of underfloor in there. Yeah. Uh, we had bloody loads of stuff like going on in there. Uh, all the upstairs radiators, the hot and the cold, um, all that as well were, you know, it was, you know, haven't, haven't had a problem basically at all. No. I think I pressurized all that with air as well to about seven bar and typical internet as well. When I did it, someone was like, oh, you shouldn't do that. It's dangerous. So rough. Literally can't do anything right in the eyes of the internet. And I think you might have found that when we first started talking about your products. You've sort of won them over now. Part of our job is to go out there and, I don't mean it in, in a derogatory term, but to educate people on, you know, what our, basically what our product is. It, you know, yeah. it is a plastic system, but it is far, far, you know, away from the kind of common plastics used. 
Let's firstly have a look. At, let's just get some pipe out and have a look at some of the stuff you've got and we can have a little chat about it, shall we? Oh, yeah. By the way, Jack is here and he is, yeah, he's just down there at the moment. So there, there will be times I'll be stopped because the dog won't sit down, but he's a good old boy. If I get the camera out, we'll have a little bit behind the scenes here. Down there, Emily's just getting a coffee on. So we've got the lights up there, camera up there, coffee here, Luke here. <laughs> Hell yeah! When somebody loves the big fat G on his big fat tabby belly. Yeah, meow, 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 meow. Ooh. You can tell I plan these interviews very, very well. Thing is, right, we're, like, we're not here to bloody talk guff to you. I just want to tell you the truth about something. So uh, the only way to do that is to basically just spring it on Luke. And I was like, mate, just chuck everything you've got that's beaut in the back and we'll just sit down and have a chat about it on camera. So we've got some of your standard beaut line pipes. So I suppose we'll start with the basics. What, what is it? Why is it different from the grey pipe that people moan about in the state? What's different about beaut line? Well, as is polybutene, our pipe is different to the stuff that is in the States and obviously particularly on most occasions, different to the stuff that's used in the UK. A lot of other plastic manufacturers use PEX, whereas we use the PB. PEX know, ringing you? Yeah. Is that uh, the missus? With, you yeah. can answer it. You can answer to Beck if you like, I'll answer. What See there. Hey Beck, how's it going? So I'm sat here interviewing your husband at the moment. Actually, are you married? Are you married? Oh yeah, he's... All right, usually when he comes to see me, he takes his wedding ring off. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, I'll put you on to him. Here you go. Tell me firstly, right, difference between PEX and PB? PEX is just, a, yeah, it's a different type of plastic made of, of multiple um, plastic. Polybutene, the one that we use is, is made from a, a pure uh, polymer bead, so it's what they call virgin plastic. Basically, our pipe's never been anything but our pipe. Okay. Um, one of the things, uh, the benefits that you get from that is that the way you can manoeuvre this pipe, yeah. which is what a lot of the guys go for. Yeah. Um, you know, you can seriously, you know, bend this pipe. And it won't you know, kick. Like, yeah, you, you couldn't bend another plastic like that. Yeah. Um, but as much as you can bend it like that, as you probably see on our other, other videos, you know, it's tensile strength resistance to, to crush or stretching, um, you know, second to none. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen the video we've done before where we, we took a forklift truck with it with a car. I, I, do you remember that one where with I a, threw it in the garden? You threw it in the snow. garden, yeah, put it into freezing conditions. Went out there in my gruds, yeah. couldn't, couldn't find it, in could I? Pants, yeah. But yeah, but so what that actually allows in that video that you showed is that there's enough expansion in the pipe so that the water inside freeze and expand and pass around the system, but it's strong enough to never split or crack or push a fit enough. Yeah, okay. Um, and as we saw at that time when you filmed that, um, when we had all that really bad snow. In the east, um, yeah. yeah, you know, we saw, we saw fittings and pipes all over social media, you know, pops yeah. and leaking, so. Um, but no beauty line ones. We'll show it now. Let's just show it very quickly now. Here you go, this is what I did. It's always cold outside, guys, and beauty line, right, they say that their pipes can survive the cold weather. So I thought I'd try it out. I've got a couple of NB crimps, so it's a perfect opportunity to get out my overused set of crimpers and get a little blanker put on here. And three. And then go over here, get some water. I'm just gonna fill this up. This is normal water, not like getting faint water. I'm just gonna fill it up. Fill that right up. That's full now. See that? That is full of water. I'll be, <laughs> be amazed if this works actually. Pop another crimp on here. I'll pop another crimp on here. Oh, I'll pop another crimp. And two and three. That's what I always do. That's my little county thing. Right, follow me. Let's go outside where it has currently been. Bloody cold for the last few days, you know what I'm going to do? Let's check it tomorrow morning. Going out to find that bit of pipe, it's another day. In my granny booze. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh man, it's cold. I can't find it. <laughs> I'm going to have to put something on my feet because I'm freezing. Under full heating, under full heating. So here it is, just found it, and that is frozen solid. Cut this on here. Frozen solid and not split at all. <laughs> That's really impressive. <laughs> So yeah, you saw there that it didn't it yeah. didn't split at all. So all right, other than that, I mean, I look on the end, like the cross section, you can see like three... Basically a five layer uh, barrier pipe. So you basically, a layer of the PB. On the outside. Yeah, then you've got a, then a layer of glue, mm -hmm. then the Evo layer in the middle, which is the barrier layer. Stop, and that's the oxygen, oxygen getting yeah. in, yeah. Another layer of glue and another layer of 
PD okay. in, inside to make, you know, to give you the five layers. And you make this stuff yourself, what you say, with yep. your own uh, polybutyl boots. Yeah, yeah, so it's made to our spec. You have to speak in a New Zealand accent. So you're like, all right, brew. Oh, you know, we played good rugby that day. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> One thing, what's the one thing you'd say? And let's be yeah. honest here, Lukey. Yeah. Size. Because it's 16 mil in it. Yeah. I ain't 15 mil. That's right. So all the rest of our sizes, 10 mil, 22, 28, generic. Yeah. 16 uh, is obviously a slight different from the norm. Yeah. If you compare this to any of the other clamp crimp systems mm -hmm. within our industry, it's the same. They're all 16 mil. Yeah. The fact of the matter is also that if this was 15 mil, get from this to you know, either push fit or copper yeah. or you know compression fit, you need a fitting. Yeah. So it doesn't matter whether it's, it could be 18 mil, yeah. you still need the same fitting to adapt it. So Yeah, um, so if you want to go from 15 mil yep. uh, standard white, shall we say, yep, plastic, yep, yep. Uh, over to like copper, yep. you're still going to have to have a fitting anyway. Well, I mean, I've already looked at it and I've done the price thing on it mm. and the price is, works out the same because um, mm. you don't need an insert on this. No inserts, yes. I mean, our, our fittings, as you, as you, as you can see, um, yeah, there are no there are no components to. So it's there, are, there already, isn't it? Yeah, so there's no components. There's, there's, there's no O-rings, there's no grab rings, there's no inserts. Yeah. Um, you know, there is. there are no parts to it. Yeah, okay, um, cool. Um, which makes install good as well, because obviously, you know, things can get forgotten. You know, you can forget an insert, or you can, you know, damage an O-ring, or use the wrong flux that will corrode a grab ring, and yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Those problems don't exist with this system, because, you know, yeah. we, we don't have them, we don't need to rely on them. Jack, come here. Hey, come round here. No, 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 other wall, round here. And here? Shep. Oh, you're such a tit. It is the system that does everything because underfloor heating, central heating, you know, hot and cold supply, mains, chilled, it all runs with the same products and the same fittings. Um, so there's no waste. Yeah. Now, if you fit underfloor heating, as, as I know you've already done, there is zero waste because whatever you get left with this product and you always get left over with pipe on underfloor yeah. heating, you're just using the rest of the job yeah, for, exactly. for free, yeah. really. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, so again, the 60 mil ties in. Yeah, it's pretty well done. Pop this on the on the fitting like so. You get you get this on your pipe, and it's not bulky, is it? The actual fitting. And when, once you clamp that, it actually becomes the same size as the pipe. So you can actually lay mm. the complete in, you know entire fitting and the pipe work in the same 15 mil lagging. Yeah. You can't do that with other generic uh, yeah, you know, plastic systems. Yeah, they're always bulky. Yeah, yeah. This. I mean, how long has this been out for? This is new. About a week or two. So this is hot off the press. Exclusive, guys. So hot off the press, look, look at that. Chrome all the way, yeah, chrome end as well. Look at that, beautiful. So again, it removes any soldering that needs to take place. Yeah. Some of our new build sites have an issue with, um, you know, naked flames on site, that type of thing. So when we've got that under our floor, all you see sticking up is literally that in it. Yeah. You know, and underneath, I mean, yeah. that is so much cleaner than, you know, loads of guys these days, let's face it, first fix in plastic and then they come up in copper. So they always have to use a fitting, like you say. Yeah but they're using bulkier fittings that can, could be taken apart by the customer. Yep. They require an insert. I always said, and I'm annoyed that you haven't taken me up on this, Luke, mm. the slogan should be, make plastic professional again. The slogan is the professional plumber's choice. Oh, okay, well, so yeah, maybe. If you're, if you're a professional plumber, it's, it's your choice. Anyway. I mean, it shows as well that you sort of innovate. You know, you're yeah, not standing do. still. No, we you? do. I mean, we, we are design engineers that you know, that make, I'd probably say half the products that we've got, we didn't start off with. Yeah. We listen to what people want. This is so in particular for schools and hospitals was, a, was a big thing for that's us. That's what they want. Let's have a little explore of some of the other fittings you got. So you've got... Maline. That is just a male iron, isn't it? But obviously yeah. that will still go in there. Yeah. Uh, so we've got our compression here, haven't we? Yeah. Standard compression. So if you want to get that up, obviously that's, imagine that's your TRV or whatever. Or if it's if this is a bit of copper under the ground, mm -hmm. then we can change over to that easy. So the, the thing is about tap connector is that we don't make a tap connector and a female line because yeah. ours does both. This will go into any type of thread. Okay, yeah. but like the rest of the system, there's no parts to this. There's no O-ring. So that's tapered that end yeah. there. Yeah. There's no O-ring. There's no washer. Yeah. You need no paste, no PTFE with this. It's self-sealing. Yeah. So because of the dome design inside, the more you do the nut up, the further it pulls the dome inside the fitting and yeah. it will actually self seal. We also do the stubby adapter, pops inside any compression fitting, just like that. Same as a piece of copper wood, use your paste or PTFE when you're not an olive, job done. All done. I mean, I like to address concerns that I'm trying to imagine that are... I would say probably that the best way of joining this system to copper though is a fitting that I know you've already used, um, is the solder tails. Yeah. 
So we do straight ones and we do the bent ones. Mate, I love these. It's a great bit of yeah, kit. They are. It actually allows you to solder copper to plastic. We've got the new, the new beast out here. So it comes with two batteries, comes with a charger, comes with three different size heads, so you get the 16, the 22, and the 28. Yeah. Um, comes with a nice presentation case. Um, and yeah, you know, it, it's, it's a good tool. So there's a cut there. You Cuts like them, nice and you like easy. Them yeah, but I'm gonna, mate, in the interest of honesty, hmm. and I always use my, I've got a pair of Rothenberger Reds. Okay. They're there because I'm doing soil pipe or something like that, like inch and a half or inch and a quarter. So you've got them to handle already. So we pop this in here then. Yeah. Yep. Two to five mil from the end that you put the pipe in. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's there. Done. So it doesn't come far apart. So if you've mm. basically if you've got floorboards that are that wide, yeah, yeah. you can get this in there and do this. Yeah, it's designed to do that, yeah. Yeah, and it's got it all crimped up nice, isn't it? So you can actually install this, um, yeah, you can push it together, yeah. dry fit it, like you would with solvent weld. Yeah. You are happy with it before you then go and glue your pipe if you like and solvent yeah. weld. Same thing with this, you can push it all together, and if you're happy, you can then go and clamp it. So there's two to five mil there. Mm -hmm. Give that a little crimpy wimp. Let's do this. Boom. And like you say, yeah, you've got that flared end and all that there as well. And that's, that's done now, isn't it? Guys, I was gonna talk about the old hand crimps, but we've done loads about those in other videos. So me and Luke thought we'd just irritate our mate Drew. Should we see if we can FaceTime Drew quickly? Yeah, cool. Drew! <laughs> How's it going? We filmed it. I just said I'm going outside because he's gonna have a camera on there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh mate, I'm here with uh, I'm here with Luki. Here he is. Say hello. Hey babe. How you doing, mate? Very well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very good, very good. <laughs> we're talking about Butte Line, all right, uh, but we're also talking about the fact you've got a new rep up your way. So, what's the deal about that, Drew, Bo? Mark. Mark is a legend. Is he really? Mark's, yeah, known Mark for a very long time. About seventeen. He started in a merchant when I started my apprenticeship. So, mate, how, how have you been using any of the beautiful Butte Line lately? Have you had any jobs you've been using it on? Not last week. The week before to run a new shower feed from across a loft. Yeah. Um, Entire bathroom in it because I love it. Yeah. All right, mate. Well, look, I'll leave you to it. Have a good day. What What are you doing today? I have been fit some new taps. I've repaired some taps. I've crossed some pipes over because we were the wrong way around, but somebody else is fitting is a really annoying bit. Uh, Bored of him now, really, aren't you? <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty fed up with him to be honest. room. <laughs> Guys, we've also got a great competition for you to win an array of Butline goodies. All you need to do is go to the video description and also I'll pin it in the comment at the top. Click on the link there. That will take you to our competition website. Once you're on our competition page, each action equals one entry. So you can get one entry for following us on Instagram, one entry for following Butline over at Twitter, and also one entry for following my vlog channel if you can be bothered. There can only be one winner and all entries must be in by the end of play on the 3rd of November. We'll let the winner know via email and also let you guys know as well. Good luck. So then Luke, thanks ever so much for coming in today, mate. It's been a beautiful chit chat. Jack's just walking around the background, border collies, you just can't control them. Don't ever work with animals. All right, I hope you've enjoyed yourself here today, mate. Yeah, it's been good. What are we doing now? Pub. We're going to the pub, and we're going to go and get ourselves a nice little Friday afternoon bit of grub. So look, guys, if you want to know anything more, uh, comment below. Uh, you can go to Butte Line's website. I've left a link to their website below as well. So you can go there, ask them any questions. You can follow Butte Line on Instagram and Twitter as well, and I'll leave links to that in the bottom as well. So thanks ever so much for coming, Luke. Let's go down to the pub, mate. I'm absolutely gagging for it. I'm wasting away, totally wasting away. Let's, Let's go. go, come on. What are you going to have? I'm going to have, oh, what Lots. beef? Steak. Steak, steak, steak. Jack, are you coming as well? Come on, mate, let's go. Come on. Come on, Jack, let's go. Yeah. Horns cool, plumber cool. Subscribe, put the bar by cool, subscribe. Put the plumber cool, subscribe. Put the merch cool, click that merch. And then you have t-shirt. Put the bar by big T cool. Come on, must have belly too. Check out the book, check out the book. If you want to see me, get quite drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Biggity, 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 biggity,